If you've ever followed the Blender community for a while, you've probably heard about the program called Texture Ripper. Or rather, Shoebox, which has a feature called Texture Ripper. This allows you to extract textures from images by cancelling out the perspective. For Shoebox to work, you first need to install Adobe Air. Then you have to find an image which you want to extract the textures from. Head over to sites like Pexels or Pixabay, where you can find high quality images with licenses that allows you to use them in your project. Open up Shoebox and navigate to the bitmap section. Here you'll find Texture Ripper. Simply drag and drop your downloaded image onto the icon. The program will now prompt you to place four points on the image, which will square out the texture for you. You can repeat this process as many times as you like. Get everything you might need. It's better to extract too much than not enough because you can't save a project and come back to it later. Once you are satisfied with the texture, go ahead and save it. Now here's a heads up. Shoebox is an old program and has some annoying quirks, which makes everything a bit harder. For example, when you save a texture, it automatically closes the program. Sometimes though, the saving fails, which means you have to do it all over again. If you want to take it up a notch, you can repeat the entire process with other images and later combine them in a program like Photoshop. If you don't have access to Photoshop, no worries. There's a free browser tool called Photopia that works just like Photoshop but with ads. Here you can adjust the color and contrast to match the other textures. Before going into Blender, let me tell you about my new add-on I created that lets you create planets in seconds in real time. If that sounds interesting to you, head over to Gumroad, link in the description, to download the free version, which comes with limited features. If you like it, consider buying the full version to support the channel. Back in Blender, start modeling whatever you want to create. Don't worry, if you're not a pro at modeling, knowing the basic modeling tools usually is enough. Look for some reference images to guide you and start blocking in your building or whatever you want to create. Don't go into too much details just yet. When you have the basic shapes in place, create a new material and add your shoebox texture. Now it's time to unwrap your model and place the individual parts on the texture to see what looks good. Here are a few tips. Use the UV squares add-on to, well, square out the UVs. For cylinders, try adding a seam in a hidden spot and press U to unwrap. Another option is to use cube projection. If your texture isn't big enough, you can add a loop cut with Ctrl R and use the same texture twice. You can also select parts of your UVs and mirror them by scaling them negatively on one axis to create a smooth transition. If you want to see the whole process of creating this castle or want to download the finished one, head over to my Patreon. Once you are happy with the texture placement, you can start adding details to your model based on the texture. Extrude windows, add ledges, arches or any other details you see in the texture. A little tip, spend some extra time on parts that you can later duplicate for quick details.